And so it's very dangerous when we start thinking things be, because you know, what we think, say, do, and believe are dictated by our senses and our memory. We start somewhere, you know, everybody has an inner voice and that inner voice usually is not the cheerleader, <laughs> right? It's the one that says, oh, you know, what are you wearing that for? Oh, did she, did you actually say that, right? This insecurity. So I believe that the, you know, the inputs into our system are very inaccurate. And so it's very dangerous when we start thinking things be, because, you know, what we think, say, do, and believe are dictated by our senses and our memory. That's dangerous, but it's also easy to control. So if I say to myself, I'm afraid of that, I'll say cancel. Or, you know, I'm sure a lot of people had some fear-based emotions when they found out about Kobe Bryant. I just say cancel. You know, I'm jumping on a plane, I say cancel. Now, sometimes there's things that keep coming back, right? They keep coming back. Now I know that I have a subconscious problem at least. If, it keep, if I just can't cancel it away and say, you know, because sometimes you say, oh, I hope I don't get in a car accident. Like you get these weird thoughts and I just say cancel, then it never comes back. But I know I'm creating a habit and a discipline and a being and in a frequency of my own. I'm actually, I believe that I'm projecting what I want. Well, sometimes the thought keeps coming back. Now I clear my mind. Yeah, I clear my mind and I just say clear and I get to peace and center. Now there's some things that have happened in my life. You know, if I tell the story about my dad and the jacket and I'm a liar, a cheater, manipulator, overseller and a back end seller, I'm still processing that. So what I do, um, and I hated my father, right, to process things I hate about my father and identify what are the attributes that I hate about him and why would I hate him for that unless I was that way and I'm projecting that onto him. So come on in, man. So the interesting thing is what Ricky wants me to teach you, this is very woo-woo. I'll think about my dad and I'll find the light in, in him. Have a seat, guys. So what does that mean? And I think this is really a great practice whether or not there's things you can't cancel or clear. You should find the light in everything. So th this is something I didn't write in the book because it's been a while and I, and I found has changed my life. It's through this practice I sit there and say, you know, instead of focusing in on my dad's a liar, a cheat, a manipulator, overseller, and a back end seller, focus in on the light. You mean naming actual? I close my eyes and I find a light. Sometimes I'll identify it as, yeah, but my dad truly cares about me, right? Or he worked really hard, right? Or just some kind of light. Then I cover him in all that light. Then I think of something that I truly love, unconditionally. So in the same mind's eye, I have something I'm afraid of, worried about, ego-based, covered in light. And then I take, you know, my family or my health or you know something like cheesecake that I love, and I get a big, big circle of light. And then I take that light that I see in my mind's eye and I cover myself and I hold that light over me until I actually feel a shift in my energy or my frequency. Th this is a more pragmatic quantum way for me to shift my energy and get a feel for an adjustment in what frequency I'm carrying. Frequency is essential, especially today that we can reach 4.2 billion people, right? If you know and have a strong signal in your frequency, a spectrum that you identify in your frequency and a clear message of your frequency, like a real clear channel, you don't have to hit all 4.2 billion people. If you had those same attributes in your frequency and you lived in Knoxville, Indiana, you might end up the mayor of Knoxville, Indiana with 1,500 people or 3,500 people. If you have that same frequency and you're able to create you know, a blog or videos or you know, a YouTube channel or somewhere where you could distribute your content, you may end up with 4.2 million people in 20 years.